For more control over the formatting of your characters, you can create your own character formatting style. That is the Home tab, Styles group, the More button, Create a Style, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this one Glossary Term. Then I'm going to hit Modify so I can get some more options. I'm going to choose Character. And then you can choose any of these as a starting point. I'm going to base this one on the emphasis effect. And I'm going to change the color of the font. And I'm going to bold it because I want to add some emphasis. Then I'll just hit OK. And you'll notice I have glossary term has been applied. And then if you wanted to apply your style, you just need to find the area where an emphasis style may have already been applied and change it to your style. So if I wanted this to now be my new emphasis style, I would just click and it has applied it there. If you need to find where the emphasis style has been applied, you would go to the Styles group, click the dialog box launcher, and in here you would find, let's say we'll start with normal. If I click the drop down arrow, I can see that there are 11 instances of the normal style, and I can tell it to select all 11, and then I can apply a new style. So if I was looking for where the emphasis style had been applied, I would click here, and it so far, there are no emphasis styles that have been applied. I can click the drop down for intense emphasis, and none of that has been applied. If I want to see where a heading has been applied, this is how you would select it, and then you would go up here and choose your new style.